The man accused of killing Jane Beshera was found competent to stand trial. But Joe Gens's lawyer wants a second opinion. 7 Action News reporter Tara Edwards was in the courtroom today. Tara, what did Gens's lawyer have to say? Well, Joanne, Gens's attorney wants to double check to make sure that her client is capable of, be, of standing trial. And this is making people speculate whether he will testify against someone else, possibly Bob Beshera. That part is unclear. Dressed in a gray suit with handcuffs around his wrists, Joe Gens walked into court. He looked distraught at times, other times very nervous. Today's hearing was to determine whether Gens was found competent to stand trial. Dr. Gilbert did in fact find uh, that uh, Mr. Gens was competent to stand trial, that he not only understands the nature and the objects of the proceedings against him, he also is very uh, familiar with the plea bargaining process. Although the doctor found Gens competent, Gens is a Attorney Susan Reed says she wants to be very sure before she proceeds with negotiations. Since Gens faces a conspiracy charge in addition to first degree murder, she would not comment specifically on what type of a plea deal she would aim for. Usually with conspiracy, there are two people involved, but as you know, at this point, there's only one person that's actually been charged. Jane Bashara was strangled in late January. The Gross Point mother's body was found in her SUV. Gens has alleged she was hired by Jane's husband, Bob Bashara to kill her. Bob Bashir denies that. Gens is currently locked up at the William Dickerson Detention Facility in Hamtramck. Reed says recent reports that her client has had outbursts inside the facility have been blown out of proportion. He seems to be doing very well. You saw him in court. Uh, of course he's nervous. Of course he's anxious because he is involved in this type of case. But I think he's handling it as best he can. And we tried to contact Bashara's attorney. He did not return our phone calls. Meanwhile, Gens will be back in court on July 23rd. Reporting live from 36th District Court, Tara Edwards, 7 Action News.